Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Brave is rolling out their latest version, version 1.62 with Chrome 121, which Brave pushed out on the 25th of January, which was late yesterday in my region. Now with version 1.62, like most version upgrades with Brave, there is plenty going on. And this is no exception with this latest release. And first of all, if you are using Brave Wallet uh, the Web3, the crypto side of things in the browser. Um, as always, they've pushed out plenty of add-ons, updates, removals, fixes, and so on. So um, if you are using Web3 and the crypto side of things uh, in the browser, then uh, just head to the About section where we check for updates, and you can check the release notes out there for that if you want more info. Now, I'm just going to dive straight in regarding the new features, add-ons, and improvements, and so on, because there's quite a lot to get through. And first of all, if you are using Brave News, um, they've added Brave News Feed V2 version 2, which has been rolled out in phases, so that's on a controlled rollout. And if we head to our settings, privacy and security, if you are using Tor, um, they've added this setting, only resolve.onion addresses in Tor windows. And the description reads, Onion services will not be available outside of Tor Windows. You can toggle that feature on and off now. And when it comes to the URL bar icons, um, they say they've added polish to the URL bar icons with rounded square corners. So that's a bit of a material you change for those URLs. And then we get three security fixes rolling out for the actual browser itself. And when it comes to Brave Leo, which is Brave's AI chatbot assistant, there's quite a lot gain on you. And I'm just going to mention this for the purpose of today's video. So if you are using Leo, these are the improvements and updates. They've improved the keyboard accessibility for Brave Leo. They've updated Brave Leo opt-in experience. They've updated Leo to handle page content changing during conversations. Updated Leo to format code responses. Also updated Leo UR items. So that's a bit of a user interface tweak with miscellaneous Brave Leo UR items. They've updated Brave Leo content context indicators. And they've also updated suggest questions to be on demand for Brave Leo. So like most of these AR features in browsers, there's quite a lot of work to do. And Leo is no exception. So obviously Brave trying to um, improve Leo. And then um, if you are using your new private window, your private browsing with Tor or your private window. They've updated the theme colors for light, dark, private window and private window with Tor. And something else I think is a nice move. If you are using the sidebar, now I actually don't use the sidebar in Brave, but if you are using the sidebar, they've updated the sidebar's last opened item to persist across browser relaunch, which I actually think if you are using this feature is a nice move in the right direction. And they've updated the password manager tab icon. So if we head to the password manager, we click on that. Apparently that little icon has been updated for the password manager in the tab. And here's a big one. They've removed HTTPS everywhere, which is a big one for this update. And they've also removed aggressive, what they're calling now aggressive fingerprinting mode. And I actually posted on this a couple of days ago. And they are calling it aggressive fingerprinting mode for this update. But it's actually, if we just head to our, um, here we go, block fingerprinting. It's called strict, still in the browser. And... Brave says that they have removed aggressive fingerprinting mode, the strict mode, which, which obviously can break sites. And I posted a whole video on that. And I'll leave that video down below if you'd like more info. But I still see it's listed in my browser. Now, what they mean by aggressive is actually the strict mode. So this could be on a controlled rollout or maybe it's just been put into the release notes prematurely. I'm not really clear on that. But obviously, um, go check that other video out where I mentioned that Brave is removing strict fingerprinting protection on desktop and Android, and that video will provide you with all the info that you need. And um, something else is they also removed tracking par parameters from URLs, and there's lots going on here with these tracking parameters. So when it comes to tracking and URLs in the browser, um, 
a bit of a privacy and security improvement going on there. And then there are bug fixes for the actual browser, which is always a good thing. And because the browser is based on the open source Chromium platform, if we head to help about Brave in the main menu, um, the Chromium engine has been upgraded to 121.0.6167.85. And that's an important security fix that's rolled out for the Chromium um, engine because it contains 17 security fixes. And there are three high risk which are important security updates and high is your level just below critical and these are common exploits that have been addressed use after free inappropriate implementation and integer overflow in web ui so um, if you are using the browser and are not even really concerned about new features or anything like that just double check it's up to date which i'm sure it will be by now because Brave is very good at updating itself in the background. And as I mentioned at the start of this video, if you go to your release notes, yeah, you'll see all the different changes and improvements for Web3 if you are using the crypto side of things in the browser. So that's what's new in Brave version 1.62 with Chromium 121. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.